Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be giving you a tour of my workshop, talking a bit about some of the different tools that I use, how I build my sculptures, and just generally how I've set the space out to create. For those of you who don't know, my workshop is also my bedroom, so it's tough to kind of find that balance between living area and somewhere to make art. So I'll show you around. So I have two kind of main areas in my room where I like to sort of segregate the type of building that I'm doing. This desk over here, very disorganized, slightly chaotic one, is used for kind of design and figuring out what is going to work, which parts are going to go together. It's where I do a lot of the actual sort of thinking process and the building process. It helps that this one is a bit lower, so I've got a chair and I can sit down and stare at the different pieces of metal for several hours until I figure out what's going to work. The second kind of area that I have sectioned off in my workshop is this, and this is kind of the workbench area for heavy duty things. This is where I have my welder set up. I'll show you guys a bit more about that later in the video, but it's incredible. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit if you're patient. It's where I have a lot of my sort of machinery. Here I've got a pillar drill. It doesn't get used half as much as I thought it would, but every now and again it comes in handy. I've got a vice set up here. I have a bunch of power tools here. So for example, I've got my Dremel. It's probably the tool that I use actually the most out of anything here. And it's nicely set up so that I can put a piece that I want to alter into the vise here, and then I can use the Dremel and it's all nice and nearby where I need it. I also have this, the light's really useful, especially if I'm working late and then there's no natural light and it's all gone. It can get quite dark in here. The fairy lights don't really cut it a lot of the time. So this is essentially the brain of the welder. I can use this computer interface to change a bunch of settings, put in the type of weld that I want to be making. I can also change things like the amount of energy that the weld's going to be using and basically make sure that I'm really precise in exactly how the weld is going to turn out. So the entire welder basically works on this arm. It's great because it means you can lower it, move it around. I generally have it about here. When you're welding, you go up to the microscope, hold your piece of metal here, and then there's a foot pedal below which I use to actually initiate it. I'll do a little demonstration of this actually. If we just take two nails, we're gonna connect each one up, touch them together, press the foot pedal. That was definitely way too high energy. That basically sends a current through both pieces of metal and it very, weakly bonds those together. Where the two pieces of the metal join, the current flowing through means that they get really hot, and so it sort of melts the metal on contact, uh, but it's nowhere near as strong as actually welding. As well as workspaces and work areas, another big thing that I have to contend with is storage. I collect a lot of metal parts. I need a lot of metal parts. And obviously that means that there has to be some degree of organization and I also need somewhere to put them. You'll see around and about the room, there's various nooks and crannies where metal will be slotted around and semi-organized as best as I can. These drawers are great. They've all got different circuit board components and general metal parts that I have sorted. Unfortunately, all of my stickers keep falling off. So I need to redo that because this did actually used to look pretty organized, pretty good, uh, but things are slipping. Over here, again, it's pretty similar. I've got just a bunch of different boxes full of metal 
not all of these boxes are actually metal. Um, in some of my sculptures I use organic materials and I've got those stored here as well. I don't tend to work with wood but it's good to use for bases and stands and a perch for different sculptures that I'm working on. As well as actual part storage, I also need to sort of store and organize some of the devices that I take apart to actually get the parts. So a lot of these I get through donations essentially. People that know me, if they have a appliance break that they know can't be repaired, then instead of throwing it away to sit in landfill, they give it to me. I take it apart and then use the parts in all of my pieces. Some of these I'll also get just at like recycling facilities or the dump, uh, basically if it's not gonna go to a good home and it's just gonna sit and waste away, then I feel like it can be put to better use in my hands. Obviously, that means that I need to store some of these devices and appliances while I'm in the process of taking them apart. So over here, you can see there's a few different devices in various stages of decay. I've got some boom boxes that I need to take apart and then there's a pile of circuit board that is half taken apart. That's my sort of to-do pile. And over here, I have my incredibly organized toolbox. All jokes aside, I probably could do with a better system for this, but it basically has everything I could need. That was my slightly haphazard tour of my work area. I hope it was maybe a little bit helpful for seeing the spaces that I need to build the things that I do if anyone else is interested in making similar stuff. I'll probably do a bit more of a thorough video on the welder in particular and some of the tools that I use and how I use them. This was a bit more of a brief overview. Obviously the dream would be to have my own studio or my own workshop rather than fitting all of this stuff into a bedroom and having a sort of real purpose-built space for my creation. Who knows, maybe one day soon that will be a reality. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna be doing some more videos on a few builds that I'm working on at the moment, making a spider, so that should be coming out in the next sort of week or so. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, turns out that stuff really helps. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.